Okay, so I want to show you, this is a Chinese bayberry seedling. I have been growing this on since May of 2023. And so we're almost one year in. So you can see here they grow very slow. And the two up here, they just started turning brown. But I do have five of them that look really good. I'll show you the other four. So here are the other of the Chinese bayberries. They're also called yumberry. And I know that they can be quite tricky to propagate. These were done by seed. I found fresh fruits at a store here locally and they tasted really delicious. They were large bayberries. And so I decided to try to grow them myself and was actually fairly successful. So today is the day the roots have been coming out the bottom and we are going to put these into larger pots. So as you can see, you do have some roots. So it's definitely time to get them into larger containers. So let's get into it. Okay, so first things first, we want to first of all have our proper soil medium and I always use a inorganic mix as much as possible. I do have a little bit of peat moss in here to help with um, keeping moisture into the soil, but otherwise it is equal mixes of sand, perlite, and peat. So we have our little containers we're going to pot them up into and first of all, keeping in mind this soil I've already pre-moistened so it's ready to go. I pre-moisten it so that the peat moss has already taken up its uh, water load. Okay, so with our first bayberry, what I do is I always take my fingers, I put them in between, and then I gently coax out our little seedling here, making sure, trying not to damage the roots. There we go, it's probably hard to see from there, but we have really nice roots. Again, like I was mentioning, they're very slow growers. So I'm just going to carefully place them into our soil. Just lightly tamping down around the stem. There we go. So our first one is in. I'm going to add a little bit more soil and then we're going to top it up with some compost. And that will help to give it some added nutrition as that breaks down. Okay, there we go. So now we'll top it with some compost here. So I just carefully add that all around the top and tamping down. There we go. Our first little Chinese bayberry is ready to go. And after we're done this, we're going to give it another watering. And once that water drains out, then I'll put them back into little catch containers like this where I can put water at the bottom and we'll bottom feed them. We'll continue on up potting the additional four bayberries and we'll see you at the end. All right, so once we have all of our Chinese bayberries potted up, with compost on top. Now I'm just gonna give them a bit of a watering and that's it. So if you guys see bayberries in the store and you try them and they taste really good, don't be afraid to try to grow them from seed and just be prepared, they're extremely slow growers. There we go. So we're gonna let these grow on indoors. And then once the outside temperature becomes a bit warmer, probably in May, then I'm gonna go ahead and bring these outdoors. And hopefully by then, well, maybe by the end of uh, summertime, they'll have more roots again. I can pot them up ready for winter. 
So hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, no matter what you grow, I hope you grow what you love. We'll see you soon.